now let's see how we are going to manage the atonic uterus okay manage ment of atonic uterus see if the uterus is not contracting then what we have to do guys we have to make the uterus to contract so that what we have to do you have to give the uterotonic drugs before giving uterotonic drugs you have to take care about abc airway breathing circulation and you have to resuscitate the patient by giving uh, blood okay now i'm mainly talking about the uterotonic drugs which are supposed to be given okay now what we have to do step 1 give utero tonic drugs which drugs are most important drugs we all know that it is oxytocin okay give oxytocin a 30 to 40 international units iv infusion okay give oxytocin 30 to 40 international units of iv infusion so that uterus will starts contracting if there is no oxytocin what we have to give then go for methyl ergo metrin okay give methyl ergo metrin how much we have to give 0.2 mg i m okay 0.2 mg i m of methyl ergo metrin or methergin should be given and this should be repeated okay this should be repeated for every 2 to 4 hours okay now how many maximum doses can be given you can give up to maximum 5 doses okay maximum 5 doses of this methyl ergometrin 0.2 mg im can be given now not only oxytocin or methyl ergometrin you can also go for a combination like a combination of oxytocin and methyl ergometrin that combination is known as synto metrin that combination is known as syntrometrin see the syntrometrin how much you have to give 5 units of oxytocin and 0.5 mg of methyl ergo metrin okay so 5 units of oxytocin and 5 0.5 mg of methyl ergometrin is syntrometrin now other than the syntrometrin we can also use some prostaglandins we all know this prostaglandins will cause uterine contraction prostaglandin pg even prostaglandin e1 known as miso prost okay miso prost how much we have to give 800 mcg sub lingual okay so 800 micrograms sublingual misoprost can be given or other prostaglandins like prostaglandin f2 alpha this prostaglandin f2 alpha is known as carbo prost okay this is a very very important drug why because this is the best drug okay carbo prost is the best drug for a treating postpartum hemorrhage if someone ask you what is the best drug for treating postpartum hemorrhage it is carboprost which is prostaglandin f2 alpha how much we have to give this drug guys it is 250 micrograms intra muscular given and this dose should be repeated for every 15 to 19 minutes and the maximum dose can be given for eight times so what are the prostaglandins we are giving guys prostaglandin e1 prostaglandin f2 that is carboprost now other than this prostaglandins what in what else we can give injection of trans examic trans examic acid okay injection of trans examic acid can be given a 1 gram iv Oh, okay, one gram IV can be given slowly. Okay, one gram IV can be given slowly in a twenty to twenty-five minutes. Okay, slowly, slowly you have to give one gram IV. Now, 
guys what what we have seen so far now if some a female is having this postpartum hemorrhage now as a part of management we are giving drugs which can contract the uterus okay in the treatment or in the management of atonic postpartum hemorrhage or atonic uterus we are giving drugs which will contract the uterus what are the drugs which we are using guys oxytocin methyl ergometrin are their combination that is syntomatrin prostaglandin e1 that is misoprost prostaglandin f2 alpha that is carboprost and injection of transexamic acid can be given so initially we are doing the medical management for the atonic uterus which means we are using the drugs so please remember first what we have to do first give oxytocin okay now if it's not working then go for methyl ergometrin okay now still if it's bleeding okay then try carboprost i have already said the carboprost which is prostaglandin f2 alpha is the best drug okay it's the best drug for treating a tonic uterus now if the still bleeding is not like you know uh, getting controlled then what you have to do then stop the medical management and go for mechanical management okay then do mechanical management see under mechanical management we are not giving any drugs we are trying to decrease the bleeding by doing certain mechanical procedures so what are the mechanical procedures which are helping now now you try packing okay you try packing means you are totally packing the uterus okay you are totally packing the uterus so that that gives a pressure onto the uterine wall it will decrease the bleeding see uh, if there is a, a cut over here if i apply some pressure over here that will cause decrease bleeding in the same way uterus is bleeding now if you try to totally pack the uterus then the pressure within the uterus will decrease the bleeding other than this what else we can do you try and massage okay you try and massage or uh, you can use bakri balloon catheter okay you can use bakri balloon catheter or condom catheter see how is going to help see you are going to uh, put a catheter inside and you are going to fill this catheter with a warm saline so inside the uterine cavity you are trying to put a kind of balloon kind of substance which is totally filled with the water now it is applying pressure onto the walls of the uterus okay something like this if this is the uterus now you have okay uh, this is the uterus okay this is the cervix now you have a kept a balloon kind of substance and you are trying to totally fill it with 500 ml normal saline so that it will what it will do it will apply pressure okay it will apply pressure onto the walls of the uterus so that this pressure will stop the bleeding okay this is how it will work so these are the mechanical uh, methods of management now you have tried for medical management it's not working now you have shifted to mechanical methods by doing uterine packaging uterine massage bakri balloon catheter or condom catheter you are using now if still if mechanical management fails okay if if mechanical methods fails then go for immediately go for surgical management okay do the surgical management under surgical management what you have to do simple guys 
under surgical management you have to put the sutures okay you have to put the sutures which sutures very very important sutures for the exam that is b linch sutures b linch sutures see what is this b linch sutures guys if you apply this b linch sutures what will happen means the anterior wall of the uterus for example this okay this is the anterior wall this is the posterior wall the anterior wall of the uterus and the posterior wall of the uterus they will come approximate or they will become approximate so that the bleeding will decrease right? because the anterior wall is showing pressure on the posterior wall and the posterior wall is showing the pressure on the anterior wall they are tightly adhered together okay so that it will decrease bleeding okay so bleeding sutures will bring anterior wall and posterior wall together okay so this is a important point to be remember now you have done this bleeding sutures if bleeding stops okay well and good if bleeding is not getting stopped you can also try some other sutures okay uh, i'm i'm saying here see the famous sutures are bleeding sutures so now here i want you to remember some other important sutures which are please write some other important sutures heyman sutures heyman's or right, so you no need to go in detail about how these sutures like you know you are going to place these sutures heyman sutures cho square sutures cho square sutures and gun shalla sutures okay so bilin sutures heman sutures chospe sutures and ganshala sutures all are these are the surgical management to prevent postpartum hemorrhage you have kept the sutures but still bleeding is not getting controlled then what you have to do so under surgical management you have to go for bilateral ligation okay you have to do bilateral ligation of blood vessels okay which are supplying supplying uterus okay you have to ligate the blood vessel so if you ligate the major important blood vessels so the blood flow to the uterus is decreased so the blood flow to the uterus is decreased means the hemorrhage from the uterus will also decrease so bilateral ligation of the blood vessels should be done if sutures are not working so which blood vessel should be ligated important you have to ligate both the uterine arteries at the level of cervical os internal cervical os okay. and you can also ligate ovarian arteries okay even ovarian arteries can be ligated now if the bleeding is uh, a severe bleeding okay rather than ligating the uterine arteries or ovarian arteries directly you can ligate anterior division of okay anterior division of internal iliac arteries okay so anterior division of internal iliac arteries can be also ligated okay either you can ligate any of them now you have ligated the blood vessels also now still it's bleeding okay it's uncontrollably bleeding now if you feel left the patient will go into shock and she will die remember the postpartum hemorrhage is a very very dreadful complication okay the patient will immediately go into death so what to do still still bleeding what to do now you can go for hysterectomy if still bleeds do hysterectomy okay so either you can do subtotal hysterectomy or you can do complete hysterectomy okay either you can do subtotal or complete hysterectomy to save the patient guys you have to remember a few important points 
to treat this ectonic uterus initially what we have done we have done a medical management by giving lot of different drugs utrotonic drugs if medical management fails go for the mechanical methods uterine packing you know the all that condom catheters bakri balloon catheter or uterine massage we have done the mechanical method if it still fails go for the surgical management in the surgical management what we have done guys in the surgical management uh, we have applied sutures okay main special important sutures are the bearing sutures okay very important famous sutures if still it fails go and do ligation of the blood vessels which are supplying the uterus if still ligation fails ultimately do the surgery okay either you can do subtotal hysterectomy or complete hysterectomy to save the patient this is how we will manage the postpartum hemorrhage especially due to atonic uterus